Hey guys, today we're talking about free alternatives to using NVIDIA AI. So I've been messing around with pretty much every single AI video generator there is, right? And probably the top three of them are Pictory AI, NVIDIA AI, and Syllabi, right? These are the most popular ones right now, and Syllabi is pretty new to the game. And I think I'd like to help you guys in figuring out the differences between these generators because it kind of depends what types of videos you're looking to make, and that's going to depend on which video generator is going to best suit you. And the whole fact of something being free, like I hate to be, I know the title is a little misleading, but a lot of these tools have free trials and that's pretty much it. I hate to rain on your parade, but using these tools and like open source footage or stock footage or AI footage, it comes at a cost. So if you're looking to get it free, it's gonna be in the short trial period that these tools give you a free trial. And yes, all three of these tools come with free trials. Pictory has a 14 day trial, but you're gonna have watermark on your videos same with in video AI it's essentially an appetizer they try to get you into the tool and get you hooked on all the features and then they get you to pay to sign up to like export the videos without the watermarks it's all the same so sorry to rain on your parade but there is no free alternative long term so if you're looking to make purely AI generated videos that are long form for YouTube I'm certain that in video AI is the best for you I just created this video for one of my motivational YouTube channels and it's absolutely ridiculous ridiculous. I'm going to mute the audio. Listen to this or not listen, but watch this. So in video AI will make you entire videos. Like it's insane. And this is all AI driven and they're very good where it kind of screws up is some of the context between people speaking. AI doesn't, isn't good with mouths yet. And it's not good with like keeping context and storylines. But what you can do is repurpose this footage to create a good storyline. What I would do is create a really good storyline in chat GPT or an AI of your preference, DeepSeek, whatever, and then put it into InVideo. And then what you could do is probably do like a voiceover with your own voice or hire a voiceover artist just because AI isn't the greatest. So if you're looking to do long form videos that are AI generated, I would say InVideo AI is definitely the best. But if you're looking to make videos that are just kind of on the cheaper side that you're looking to just use stock footage for, I would say Pictory is a better option. I just made this entire video. It's using stock footage. Let me prepare this for you can so you can see it so this is all stock footage and you can see the copyright here it says Getty images story blocks and the big setback with using stock footage is that YouTube is okay with it but you're kind of limited right and especially if you have like you know everyone's using this and the algorithms know everyone is using stock footage but that being said I do a lot of like boring finance content on YouTube where it's just like talking about like businesses and stuff stock footage works perfect one way you can kind of stand out is to throw it in a video editor and actually do the mirror image where it like it inverts it so it looks different because everyone's using this footage but if you invert it it's different and the algorithm sees it different just a little side hack but if you're looking to do faceless content that is vertical reels I would say syllabi is easily the best and I've been creating videos here for my motivational channel I'll show you some of them so and what I do is I go to chat GPT and I ask it to write me a captivating motivational script with a hook and then I put it into syllabi and these are some of the videos that I've gotten so here's an example of one of them. Feeling tired all the time, struggling to focus, maybe even hitting a wall in your workout. And what it does is it creates still images, and then what it does is it does like a zoom effect. You can add the voiceover, you can use AI voiceover. I tend to, what I do, a uh, little trick to AI voiceovers is I'll put it in a video editor and then I'll speed it up a little bit just because AI voiceovers are a little slow and the algorithms, some of them hate them, hate the voices, especially like YouTube and Instagram. But what you do is you put it in a video editor and you speed it up a little. Like instead of that one, you do it like 1.2 or 1.3 and it reads a little faster and it's more natural. And a lot of people even watch videos at like a faster playback speed anyways but syllabi ai is cheaper and it makes really good content for reels i feel like it's way better than in video ai and again guys if you're looking to try out these tools i'll throw affiliate links in the description syllabi is the new guy to the block but i'm confident that it's going to be like it's going to be a big tool for like doing this all right so go back i want to show you some other and syllabi does do long form videos but i find it it doesn't the ai generator is kind of like it, it's strong
struggling, InVideo AI has the best long form video generators. Like I'm still blown away, but I will say there is one catch. You do pay for these videos. Like it is the most expensive. That's because it's the best. So if you're looking to save tons of money, chances are this isn't the option for you. I think just to create this was like a couple of dollars or something. I think they go on a credit system. And a lot of the AI generated stuff is beyond their basic pricing plan. So I got the plus plan right here. Here's some of the stuff right here. It says for the plus you get 50 AI minutes. For the $70 a month plan, you get 200 AI minutes. The AI minutes are what's expensive. And I actually ran out like super quick and I had to add more money to my account just to like create these videos. Here's another one I just created. This is a vertical reel itself. In a world that never stops, neither can you. And it kind of does the same thing syllabi does where it just creates images so it doesn't use as much AI like processing power. But these are still decent. It still does what syllabi does. I kind of like what syllabi is doing with like the themes. So if I click on create video here, I can choose the different themes. And some of these are really popular, like the comic book feature. There's like a superhero feature, digital art, uh, Greek mythology. So again, syllabi is really cool for this and it's easy. Again, I'll throw all the links in the description. So yes, these are the free alternatives and competitors to using InVideo AI, even though guys, you're mainly just gonna get free trials, if I'm being completely honest, because this stuff does cost money to get going. And essentially, if you were to even use stock footage websites like Storyblocks, that membership alone is like 50 bucks a month. So you could actually just go to pictory.ai or IO, whatever it is, and then just use, that's cheaper than Storyblocks. And you could use that content as B-roll for your videos. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you have any thoughts, your experiences. You can reach out to me on social socials, etc. I live and breathe content. Links will be in the description. All right, guys, later.